Good afternoon, friends. It is your friend, Crypto Face. Hope you all have enjoyed your weekend. If I know for many of you in the States, it is a holiday weekend to all of you around the world. Hopefully you had a good weekend. Hopefully you were able to take advantage of the pump. If you watch this channel on May 25th, we said that the next move for Bitcoin is 8,800. We did not have a question mark at the end of it saying 8,800. We didn't say 70% this, 30% that. We said next move for Bitcoin is 8,800 on May 25th. Well, what do you know? Folks, if you are not a part of the whale crew, if you do not use or have access to Market Cipher, you are missing out. Take a look at some of the profit logs in the Discord to boot. I don't want to brag too much. We helped Keith Waring, a YouTuber, started with 0.2 Bitcoin in 16 days, turned 0.2 Bitcoin into 5 Bitcoin. He now ended his 30-day trade uh, series early because he already hit his maximum aggro goal, which was 5 Bitcoin. Keith, it was a pleasure to have you. I wish, part of me wishes you didn't, we, we didn't make you so much so damn early, but such is life. It's a good problem to have. I know you'll still be around. Now, let's talk about the next move. What is Bitcoin going to do next? Because right now, what good is yesterday's or two days information? So I'm seeing a couple bullish signs. First things first, just looking at the chart itself and the movement, we are not seeing the sporadic vulnerability volatility that we have on the last pumps. It is straight. It is rather strong. It just broke out of a major trend. So given just off that notion, it is quite possible that we see another stair step up before an actual true correction. Now, if Bitcoin goes down to, you know, the 8650s, I'm not considering that a correction. That's just within its little channel right now. So probably the best type of entries, you know, obviously are going to be down here if this next move up is to be true. This also aligns with our 10K by Wednesday prophecy over the past week, week and a half. I don't need to show you why. Uh, again, if you've been around, we showed you the weekly green dot indicator. Um, so we'll see. We have two days to hit 10K. We're almost there. We'll see if uh, I'm right, wrong, or close. So this is a straight line. This is a bullish indicator for me. Healthy, stable, solid. She can easily take one more step back up before potentially seeing a correction and moving back up. Moving on to Cypher B, the second bullish indicator that I'm going to present to you guys currently is I see a pattern forming here that we have seen numerous times. The castle, we've mentioned this castle over the past few weeks. It looks like this. There's a big triangle, a little one, a little one, dip, and then sayonara, she goes off. On our momentum algorithm wave, it applies. Um, oh yes, okay. So for those of you who do have Market Cipher, who just got Market Cipher, who don't have Market Cipher, I wanna show you guys how you can now get an alert when the green dots Perf uh, show up on the hourly and the two hourly. For those of you that don't know, we have long the past 10% moves because of these green dots. When these green dots show up on the hourly and the two hourly, long story short, that means my indicators that have certain weights to others have all conjoined to spit out this green dot to go long. And every single one on the hourly, on the two hourly is money. 
plenty of people have back tested it. They do it every single day. It is on the money. Now, the truth is, is I was kind of looking for another one, but I didn't think it was going to come because it was later in the triangle trend. But after a big pump, after there's a big move, right? Let's, let's say this moves up and then, you know, we start maybe forming like a new triangle earlier in the trend. I'm looking especially for two, maybe even sometimes three green dots, right? Later in the trend, when there's less volatility, I'm cool with one. But when I see one pop up, the candle has to close as sometimes it'll pop up and it'll flash. It'll fight. Sometimes the can it'll pop up, candle will close and it disappears because it didn't end up meeting the criteria on the close. Speaking of, it looks like we have a, another one right here on the cipher A. Um, okay, so here is how you add the green dots on the one or the two hour, whatever you want, to alert you. First thing you're gonna do is click on this little clock up here, the alerts button. Then you're gonna click on this plus sign right here. On condition, you're gonna click that, go to market cipher B. On trend one, you're going to click this and you're gonna hit buy. It's already on green dot, so make sure it's on green dot. On options, I want to know as soon as it pops up. So once per bar will go off, even if it just flashes, so I can sit there and look at it. If you just want the indicator to go off when it's confirmed and closes, once per bar close, you can do that. So I use once per bar. Expiration time. If you have um, a paid account that's like basic, you can extend this for two months. If you have a pro account, you can click this, or yeah, you can click open-ended and it doesn't expire. Um, I don't know what it is for free accounts, but for my basic paid one, I set it out to, I click the next month, boom, so the, so the alert's good for a month. You can even have a message, alert actions, you can notify on the app, show the pop-up, yada, 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 boom, and you get the notifications. Possible long is time, uh, but write whatever you want in your message. Green dot possible farm long. Wait for close, whatever you want to do. Boom, create. Boom, bada bing. And then it'll pop up over here and you're good to go. Folks, um, this channel is raw. We don't have green screens. We don't do, I don't do all the flashy things that some other YouTubers do. But at the end of the point, our product and our service is what is most important. We have and we are the most best kept secret in Bitcoin, in crypto. Um, because whether you are a newbie or a seasoned veteran, as soon as you join me, you level up. Whether you're just joining the whale crew for my actual signals and thoughts on the market on a minute to minute basis whenever I'm active, or if you just want market cipher, um, I'm gonna extend the offer for, let's see here. Tell you what, for the next 24 hours, I'm gonna keep it at 0.1 BTC if you want the Wombo Combo Package. That is both a lifetime membership to the whale crew and one year access to market cipher A, B, and S, R. So for the next 24 hours, that deal is live. Scroll down in the description for more details. Um, other than that, shout out to Bybit. Bybit is number one. There is no overloading. For those of you that were trying to trade BitMEX during this pump, you were probably overloaded numerous times. Um, Bybit was smooth. For me, the liquidity, there's more liquidity so it can handle bigger trades. I couldn't even trade EOS on BitMEX because my trades were too big for BitMEX's books on EOS. Not on Bybit. They have way more market makers. There is no secret bots that manipulate trade orders to screw you on fees, right? For quote unquote slippage. You can exit. All I do is exit and enter market now with Bybit. I mean, I'll set limit orders if I'm going to set an order for some price somewhere. But BitMEX... You know, Bybit and BitMEX in quotes have the same fee structure, but BitMEX has bots that manipulate. As soon as you click sell, their bots will wipe orders off the book. So bup, 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 you slip all the way down and get screwed in a fraction of a second. 
Don't get taken advantage by secret backroom sly strategies and mechanics to screw you and separate you from your crypto. That is what BitMEX does. BitMEX served its purpose. I've done, you know, me and BitMEX had our time, but for the better of the people, every single day, more and more YouTubers and traders are catching on. I'm telling you, we were the first. I knew it. I knew we were going to take over. We were going to take over and it's happening now. So. Next move, I'm seeing one more pump up. How far high it goes, you know, I don't exactly know. But we know that we are, you know what, let's pull up the weekly. On Market Cipher A, the last time we saw this green dot, was in October 2015 at the basically exact beginning of the bull run. The next candle almost doubled. Bitcoin was 258. It touched all the way up to 500. Again, Market Cypher also called the very bottom pretty much of the Bitcoin market with Cypher B. Boom. Another green dot popped off. And so we're bullish as all can be. Bitcoin has already broken its biggest resistance yet. There is not much resistance, guys. There is no resistance. Honestly, I'm not saying we're going to go to 20,000 in a couple weeks. But I wouldn't be surprised if we see just more of the same. More of the same. The strategy, the environment is getting in on the dips. Getting in on the dips. What more can you ask for? Many of you have been in this market long enough to have learned. You've paid for your lessons. You've gone through enough pain. Now is time for the gains. And the time is now. So, what are my official positions? If you want to know, scroll down and join the whale crew. Until then. Um... Flop and Groper should be releasing the official PowerPoint on Market Cipher. There's a lot of details. Um, I mean, it's pretty simple. Go through my streams where I say Market Cipher introduction, Market Cipher explanation, what everything officially means. I know I, I want to put out an official video strictly just on Market Cipher. Um, but again, I'm busy as heck. I'm trying to get to it. But if you want just to be on the money, if you just got Market Cipher, Green dots on the hourly and the two hourly are going to be the bread and butter of your life. Okay? Let's get that crypto, baby. Woo!